So a really nice feature that the Kloss Jaguar 900 series has is a start chopping menu and a regular chopping menu. In other terms, you can set the chopper up to have certain settings when you're doing a split like in corn or a cut through depending on the language that you use in your region. So like if you're chopping with a truck behind you, you can have one settings and then when you have a truck or tractor alongside of you, you can have different settings. The way to adjust this and set it up for the first time is you have to have the engine safely on with a knife drum safely on. You come into the machine and you come down here to own machine settings. Again, they will not be here unless you have the knife drum on. So the start chopping mode is when you're wanting to have it so when you're making a split through the field. So maybe you want the engine RPMs to be a little bit higher when you're making the split. You can have dynamic power on or off. You can have cruise pilot on or off. What is really nice is you can have direct stop off. So that way the chopper doesn't suddenly stop if you got metal out there and then the truck or tractor uh, bumps in the rear end. But when we're chopping along the side, you can have that on. Another great thing is if you have the hydraulic accelerator gap adjustment, you can have the accelerator gap adjustment come in really tight so the machine will throw the crop far behind you. Or you can have it, when you're alongside, wide open to gain more efficiency and less wear on your spout. You can also, if you have the OptiFill option, have it turn off when you're doing the split through the field. Or when, if you do have the AutoFill menu, what is really nice then is when you're doing the split and you hit the one button, it will uh, turn AutoFill to rear filling versus side filling. So with one button, we'll show you here in a second, you can do all that. So if you've got your settings set for making your split and then chopping alongside. So what's nice is you come up here to this little menu right there and then you can hit start chopping if you want to make a split. It's now, as you can see, the accelerator gap is moving. Auto fill is going to the rear position and it changed the RPM settings that we had. Now. You can get out of there, do your split. Now when you're turning around, come up here, hit chop mode, and now the chopper will be set up so when you're chopping alongside, it'll have all the settings that you've pre-adjusted for that.